Um, publications using CPTP data have already started to address a diverse range of health issues from mental health status among ethnocultural minorities, blood pressure and kidney cancer risk, um, even glaucoma and air pollution. What's the link between those? So how broad do you see the uses for the CPTP data? Do you see any limits? In principle, yes. Um, questions as they relate to the utilization of the CPTP, uh, we're only going to take applications if you're asking questions around health. Um, but that means it's fairly open-ended in that in that case as well. So we do ask that when participants, or sorry, researchers come in to utilize the data, you know, it helps when there's a peer review already. So if somebody already has a grant, then we know that the science has already uh, been evaluated by an organization. Um, but we also have an organization within us or a, a series of evaluators that will evaluate the quality of that science as well. Um, but for example, we have data uh, that could be used for pollsters, for example. Of course, mm -hmm. we would never let that kind of information go. Um, but we are interested in supporting broad ranges of health. And that's actually a challenge for an organization like CPTP, um, in part because we are trying to be as, uh, as useful to broad ranges of sciences in different health, in different health domains as well.